So I'm down here with my friends Mel and Jonah who just arrived from England. Oh. We got a couple of days here in Vancouver Dam. What do you recommend we do? What do I recommend you do? Well, you have come to the right place. Do you like beaches? We've got a few of those. Now the best beach for sunsets is English Bay in the west end of downtown. While you're there, check out the laughing statues. A good spot for the family is Kitsilano Beach. You could even try the awesome outdoor pool. Once you've dried off, spend some time exploring Kitsilano. It's an old hippie neighborhood with its own unique vibe. Head on up West Forth for a laid back street with some great restaurants and local shops. Or are you feeling a bit adventurous? There's always Wreck Beach. Just watch out for the stairs, they'll get you. If you're visiting in summertime, you are in luck. There are a ton of street festivals happening this time of year. Engage in some local Vancouver customs, such as taking a wing selfie, eating one of these things, pretending kombucha tastes good, oh god, it's worse than vinegar, and of course, listening to live music. Hey, do you like parks? Take a visit to Queen Elizabeth Park, and if the season's right, check out the cherry blossoms. Or if you want something bigger, check out Stanley Park, where you can find 500-year-old trees. While you're there, bike the seawall for beautiful ocean views. Do you have some rainy days in the schedule? Yeah, we get a few of those. That's why we have so many cool coffee shops. Seriously, check one out. This city has more than just Starbucks. While you're at it, try one of our delicious sushi restaurants. They are literally everywhere. Want to get more into nature? I got you covered. Go into the wild at Capilano Suspension Bridge, or Lynn Canyon Park, or Deep Cove, or Cypress. There are an endless number of hikes around Vancouver. I don't have time to list them all. Just watch out for the wildlife. Damn nature, you scary. Or maybe you want some more local activities. Engage in some favorite Vancouver pastimes, such as complaining about the rain. So gloomy. Complaining about the sun. It is way too hot today. Jumping on the Canucks bandwagon. I think this could be the year. Jumping off the Canucks bandwagon. Hey guys, uh, you got a return policy on this thing? Or choosing from ridiculously large selections of craft beer. Seriously though, the beer's great. Speaking of beer, maybe you're looking for some nightlife. You could party on Granville Street. On second thought, let's not party on Granville Street. But there's always Gastown. Or Davy Street. Or commercial. And hey, while you're downtown, be sure to check out Canada's oldest Chinatown. There's a nice little Chinese garden that's worth a visit too. Or stop by the sports stadium to see the BC Lions. Or the Vancouver Whitecaps. If you want to get above it all, you could take the Vancouver Lookout. Wait, it costs how much? Okay, scratch that. You know what, let's just take a walk down by the beautiful waterfront. Uh, just know that the waterfront is pretty touristic, so if you want a more local side of Vancouver, you could try walking around Falls Creek. I live right by there and I love this place. For only a few dollars, you can take a ride down Falls Creek on the Falls Creek Ferry. This little guy can take you all the way to Granville Island, which is an artsy place with lots of cool shops. Be sure to stop by Granville Island's public market and bring an appetite. Wondering how to get around the city? Have no fear, there are plenty of options. You could ride the SkyTrain. Or you could take one of these. Or one of these. Or take one of these. So here's a few final thoughts. The Vancouver Aquarium and the Science Museum are two great places for kids. The Real Theater is a hipster cinema that plays cool old movies. If you want to see a bunch of new street art, take a walk down Main Street. If you like Asian food, you must visit the Richmond Night Market. And if you're visiting from outside of Canada, don't worry, I'm about to answer the only real question you have. The best poutine I've had is at La Belle Patate. If you love Vancouver as much as I do, you could buy a condo. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but you could at least rent an apartment. Ooh, unless you have a dog. Okay, so maybe life in Vancouver is not perfect. We've got problems like everywhere else, but you know what? I am proud of this city, and I want you to make every moment count. So I want you two to go out there and seize the day. Do as much as you can. Heck, try to do everything on this list. Oh, but we've only got one more day. Oh. Well, you can always take a selfie with the clock. <laughs>